My name is Shade Corvier, and I am currently taking a gap year before starting my first year of college this um, fall, August 2021. And I'm currently writing a book about blockchain and cryptocurrency. It's called Blockchain, the Future of Cryptocurrency. And I'm super excited for this because I feel like a lot of people don't have um, knowledge on why blockchain is important and how it can help them in the future. And people think that you have to have an engineering background or a coding background to learn it. And I want to help to show people that you don't and you can still be involved. Awesome. I love it. I love the fact that when you reached out to me, um, you're, you're one of our younger generation coming into the space. And um, I think it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing when we can have younger generation latching on into, it's an intergenerational space and we all have common goal and common theme. Um, so my first question for you is how or why did you get into the blockchain space? Yeah, so I got into this space because of my dad, actually. He's been in the area since around 2017. So when the first big bull run came mm -hmm. and he would talk about it all the time and he was just so excited about Bitcoin, Ethereum, especially Ethereum, that's probably one of his favorite ones personally. And I just kept learning about it over the years. Back then, I was a little bit skeptical myself because like I said, I'm not from them. Um, an engineering background either. So back then I didn't understand it. And as time went on, I was like, maybe this is something I need to understand because it could help me in the future. And it's always good to know what new technology is coming out. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. It is true. It's always good to know and be ahead of um, the different changes that are coming up with these technologies. Um, I think that's important for the black community period, because oftentimes we get left behind. Um, so the, my other question is, what does blockchain mean to you? Yeah, so blockchain for me, it's um, a new way of the internet. I think I love how people call it um, the internet of things, uh, especially with um, NFTs. I That's what I'm specifically very excited about. Um, a lot of the times people have been saying like um, NFTs are more for the younger generation. I think they can be from anybody. My dad buys them. So I think they can be from anybody, but I just think it's so interesting. And there, you're able to find so many intersections with other industries within blockchain. Blockchain is, it's, um, it's fast. Like mm -hmm. I'm very interested in the fashion industry and I was able to make it interconnect with blockchain, which I thought was really interesting. Like there's companies out there that do auctions that sell um, NFT clothing mm -hmm. and they want to go into like interoperability and ha have them go into video games. And I just think that's so interesting and it's crazy how it can also connect with VR. So I just see so much opportunity in this space, especially in that area. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm really excited about personally. So the next question is, um, how do you see blockchain with, with your book and your research that you're doing right now? Um, how do you see blockchain improving the Black community um, as well as the African diaspora? Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, I think it is a great way because it gives um, us another opportunity to get in early. Like you said earlier, like a lot of the times we don't get into it until it's too late. And then I know I'm in the space trying to help, but there's like a lot of people in the community who are doing the work, like your work specifically. And um, I just think it's amazing that we have this opportunity and with Guap coin, mm -hmm. I, I have a little bit of that actually. I was so excited when I learned about that one. So I think there's a lot of opportunity to help people and make it easier to send um, money to family in other countries. Like um, my dad, we have family in Ghana currently. So it's okay. cool how we can use that to make it easier to um, send money to them. Cause actually he used a wire transfer and he's like, yeah, I don't know why I did that because I <laughs> literally, I understand blockchain and Bitcoin and it's so much better. Yeah. I just had to try it like one last time to see, to see the difference, you know? So I think that was a really interesting thing when you can like see it actually happen within your own life. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And um, a lot of the answers that I'm hearing from the ladies about how we can improve our community is the whole remittance um, aspect and wiring money to um, Africa or other countries or the Caribbean. And it's really a great avenue to improve that for people. 
and giving that is it, you know, you can, you can literally wire something um, and it'll take time for it to reach its destination. But if you're doing a crypto exchange or transfer, um, you can definitely reach that individual the same day <laughs> in essence, you know? <laughs> um, so that's a great opportunity. Uh, so you're, um, you're very, young. <laughs> and I hate to keep harping on that, but I think it's a beautiful thing that you're a young individual in this space and you're doing a lot for people here. What advice would you give other young um, people who are trying to get into this space and um, fully don't know what to do yet? Mm -hmm. I would definitely say like, don't be afraid to talk to people. I know like probably a lot of people give this advice, but it's so true, especially like with my age group, whenever like I reach out to people, so people are so welcoming and open-hearted and they just, they want to help you be successful. So I've um, definitely learned how to like, not be so worried about like, oh, they're going to be like, why is she trying to talk to me? Because people want to help you. So if you're interested in something like blockchain, reach out to people in the industry, even if it's something else outside of blockchain, just reach out, um, keep people updated with your projects. I know sometimes I don't do a great job of keeping people updated with my projects, but if you put in the effort and the time, it will, like, a great things will come, come from it. Awesome. Um, well, I want people to be able to reach out to you and connect with you, especially the young generation. So can you please provide your social media platforms? Yeah. So one big one that I currently use is my Twitter account. It's um, Paradigm underscore Sade, P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M underscore S-A-D-E. Um, and that's the main one I use. And I also have um, a website that I'm revamping right now. It's just called um, SadeAriel.com, S-A-D-E-A-R-Y-E-L. And I'm going to try to revamp it for crypto because why am I going to waste this money on this website? I need to get it up and running. <laughs> So how is the um, research going? Um, it's going really well. I was supposed to have a call today about NFTs, mm -hmm. like my favorite thing. Yes. Sadly, it <laughs> got canceled because he was sick. And I'm actually going to be talking about um, getting to learn more about CBDCs in the early April. And I think that's really interesting because I want to see how, um, you know, the banks are dealing with, you know, these digital currencies growing mm -hmm. and how that affects the um, blockchain space. Okay, all right, that's good. Um, when you learn a bit more about NFT, I think it will be great as a young person if I can feature you and you know, kind of ask you to a, a few questions about NFT because it's. I, I think NFT is one of those really great use cases, especially for our community, since a lot of us are into you know arts, right? Mm -hmm. We are either artists or uh, artists as drawer, as people who draw or paint or, you know, produce music, et cetera, right? And this is another avenue for us to be able to create generational wealth off of that. So I would love to get your take on that. Yes, totally. Actually, like, I think it's so interesting because like, um, yeah, there's actually like singers using the blockchain for their music and stuff so they can keep more money in their pocket because we all know the music industry takes like so much of the money from them. So I think that's a really interesting use case that I feel like a lot of people in the community would love.